God is good and with each day that passes brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This is the Nathan Napalm channel and if you are new here please consider subscribing especially if you're interested in Pantheon or old school MMO related content on our march to launch. Today, I want to talk about something. I want to tell a little story, actually. I want to talk about my first day on EverQuest because it was a crazy ride. And I want to, I, I've talked about it before, uh, actually, on the Voices of Terminus show. If you don't know who that is, please go check them out. They're a pillar of the Pantheon community and fantastic people. Anyway, so let's talk about this. So here's what happened. Before I played EverQuest, I'd already played Ultima Online. Ultima Online was my first graphical MMORPG. And Ultima Online is fantastic, okay? It was a great game. It was insane back then. I've been thinking about going back and playing it, by the way, just to just to relive those old days. But anyway, I loved Ultima Online, but I had a problem with it. 3D was out, right? Like, uh, you know, I wanted to play a game like Ultima Online but in 3D. So bad. Oh my gosh, so bad. Well then, there's this little rumor of a little game called EverQuest. And I hate to admit this, but I have to do it if I'm gonna tell the story. I was not there in 1999 for EverQuest. I was on UO, uh, and I'm sorry. That's gonna hurt people's feelings, but it's just the truth. So, there you go. So anyway, not long after 1999, it was still in the very early days of EverQuest, I wanted to play it. So here's why. I had this, somebody had given me, a, uh, a friend of mine actually, had given me this uh, book. It was, it was kind of thick, and um, it was in black and white. It was almost like a, like a beginner's guide, but it was very small. It wasn't like a strategy guide or anything like that. It just had some very basic information about EverQuest. Honestly, it was almost like a get you hyped kind of thing, or at least that's what it did to me, and I had poured through this thing, right? I knew my computer was a steaming pile of crap at that time. Uh, you know, just out of high school, I couldn't afford a freaking nice rig, okay? Couldn't do it. And I had this piece of crap computer. Uh, it wasn't good for the time at all. It could run uh, Ultima Online, though. But anyway, it definitely didn't have a card good enough to run 3D. So I was just, I had spent weeks or maybe even months just pouring through this book just wishing that i was playing everquest playing this magical game that in my head i was thinking is exactly like ultima online except it's in 3d and one day i don't know what happened that day but i just decided you know what i have to play this game i'm not gonna wait any longer i'm gonna get it i don't care what it costs me I don't care if I, my bills are late, I don't care if I get evicted from my apartment, I'm getting this freaking game today. It's probably a payday, I'm assuming. So anyway, I decided I'll get whatever it takes, I'll get a new graphics card, I'm going to the little PC place, a uh, little PC store down the street, and I'm going to get whatever I need, I'm getting EverQuest. So, uh, I go to this uh, little, just a little hole in the wall place that sells PC equipment and stuff like that. I go up to the counter because I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I've not built a PC before. I was a console gamer. So I go up to the counter and I'm like, hey, look, I want to play this 3D game and it's kind of demanding, I've heard. And I need a graphics card. Here's how much money I have, right? And the guy's like, oh, I got something just for you because I have this high-end freaking voodoo graphics card 3d fx you know what i'm saying like this ridiculously nice graphics card and it's used and i have it for sale so i was like awesome it's within my budget it's according to this guy who might as well be a sage of graphics cards as far as i know he says it's good so then i you know he explains how to install it he, you know we're talking he's asking me about games, etc. And then he makes a joke. He actually made a very offensive joke about EverQuest, right? And I'm just like, oh my god, like that was a game I, I'm getting this graphics card for. I see the game right there on the shelf, right? Behind him, and he's making fun of it, right? 
and I and, and I'm like, oh crap! Like I, you know, I need this guy to teach me how to put this graphics card in. You know, uh, I kind of want to be on good terms with him. I may be back here later today because there may be other things I, m that my PC needs, etc. So you know what? I, I had to pretend like <laughs> I had to pretend like I was buying some other game. And and what I did was I bought Quake just to make it look like that was the game that i was gonna buy and then i had to get the graphics card go to like another's place uh they get, it wasn't called gamestop it was like electronics boutique or one of those back then and and i got everquest the guy at the counter tried to talk me out of buying it by the way when i did buy everquest he was like dude don't buy this game man it's ruined my life I just woke up one day and I had a wife and kids and I, I, it's like I didn't even know they existed because I'm so in this game like I, I, it takes over your life man don't do it and all this and I'm like dude trust me I know what I'm doing I want to buy this game exactly what you just said that you like lost yourself in the game and you forgot about life that's what I want dude I'm freaking like 19 years old you know what, I wasn't even 19, I was 18. I, I'm 18 years old, I want to play this game, and I don't give a crap. Like, you know, exactly what you're saying is negative is exactly why I'm buying this game, okay? So anyway, I get the game, I go back home, you know, and once again, this is going to sound insane, because to this day, now I know how to... Uh, do a lot, you know, practically build my PC. I, I didn't build my rig. I have to shamefully admit I didn't build this one, but I know how to do pretty much anything. I can pretty much build a PC. I've replaced parts and etc. etc. But at that time, I had not. But with the knowledge I have now, I still have no idea how I did this. I get home. I got this graphics card, right? And I got this piece of crap. I wish I could remember the brand. It was some horrific brand of, of PC. Uh, if some of my friends from back then uh, end up on this video, they'll definitely comment what it was because I know they remember they made fun of it for years. But anyway, so I open it up and I'm and I'm I've got this graphics card and I'm looking at it and it doesn't fit, right? Like the thing doesn't fit. There's no way this is gonna work. It's too big. It doesn't fit. So I'm not giving up, right? Like I'm not buying a new computer. I don't have the cash for that. I'm not giving up. I'm playing freaking EverQuest. Today, I'm not going to compromise, okay? So, I go get a freaking knife. And, you know, my, the case of my computer is pretty thin. I start jabbing it, you know, and I'm, I'm cutting up this brutally disgusting, ugly, just like bent metal, just like sharded out outwards and inwards and I'm just bending it I'm making room for this graphics card you know I don't care I'm playing freaking EverQuest whatever it takes so I get the graphics card in I snap it in place which by the way I had unhooked everything right um, this was cable internet days so I had an actual directly you know I did my internet directly to my PC it was the only thing that needed internet back then so you know I had it directly coaxial i think it was called back then directly into my uh computer so i got this giant hole ugly ugliest sin with this part of the graphics card hanging out of it and i'm hooking everything back up and obviously i hooked the power up first I, that had to be true i don't remember that but it has to be true based on what's about to happen i hook the power up i'm hooking all of you know my keyboard my mouse all my stuff in and then i go to put the internet coaxial by the way which I haven't done this in years. I haven't had cable internet in so long. But I'm 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 putting I'm I'm twisting it on, right? And suddenly, and I'm dead serious. I don't know how this happened. I'm dead serious. I'm not making this up. There was this kapow and like sparks, like in the in the in the whole apartment's electricity, or at least it seemed at that time. The lights went out, right? And and it was a spark. It was a kapow right from my computer, right? And I'm like, oh my. God, I have just fried my, my computer, my motherboard, and everything. Like, this sucks. I'm screwed. So I'm all mad, but I'm not giving up. You know what I mean? I'm not giving up. I'm playing EverQuest today. I get the... I, I go to my, my fuse box, and it did trip one of the uh, one of the fuses, whatever. I get it back going, but the electricity's screwed, right? It's not coming back on, on that part of the house. However, at the other... And, and I said house, actually it was an apartment. But on the other end of the apartment, where the, my bathroom was, the bathroom and kitchen, I, and like a little hallway type area, that electricity worked, right? So, what did I do? 
I got me some extension cords. I ran it from the bathroom, which made the most sense. My kitchen was kind of small back then. So I ran it from the bathroom out into like right outside the bathroom, kind of close to the kitchen. I made a little crappy desk out of dumb stuff and uh, literally just sat there on the floor. My computer came on. I don't know how after that, but it did. It came on. Everything was working. I was in, baby. So I began installing EverQuest. And I'm, I'm, oh man, I am geeking out by this point, right? Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's almost time, it's almost time. I'm about to play this game. I'm freaking out. And I get it installed, and of course it has to patch. It took freaking forever. I'm like, just sitting there, watching it. The, 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 the download just, and the patch is just happening. Like, all right, any minute now. Any minute, I'm watching my download speed. I'm doing math on how long it might take, and at, you know, it seems like I'm, I'm getting an extra megabyte every every so often. So with this trend, I'll be done in this this many hours. I mean, I am just bugging out. I got my little black and white book with the EverQuest information. I'm looking through it, man. I'm just I'm just so excited. Well, finally, finally, the game is installed. It's patched. It, I, it's really it's way up in the night at this point. Okay, it's not even close to being the same day. All right, it's we're way up in the wee hours of the morning, technically the next day, and I can finally log on. So I'll log on to the game, and I'm just blown away immediately. For the time, the graphics, especially considering what the game was doing with, with being a massive multiplayer game, the graphics look so freaking good, man. I was so excited. I made my character. I'm running around in Kinos and lost of course i had no idea what i'm doing i'm running around i'm trying to find figure things out i'm seeing you know all these shops around kinos and what's funny is i came from uo right and so that first day or actually for quite a while when i first played everquest back then i thought these shops were player run i thought the little signs because you gotta admit you know you gotta admit the little the little signs especially in kinos they look a little crappy right <laughs> <laughs> they look kind of bad. Uh, you know, the graphics that are on the signs. I thought people made that. I thought maybe there was like a template and you could make things and set up your own shop. Because, you know, in UO, that's kind of it's kind of how it works. So that's what I thought. I meet my first person in EverQuest was a female human, I think. She was a human. But anyway, it was definitely a female character. And she was going to show me the ropes. Um, she noticed... From my retarded behavior, I assume, that I was obviously new at the game and knew absolutely nothing. And she took me under her wing. She taught me how to play the game, how to kill mobs, how to, you know, equip things, whatever questions I had. And where things were in Kinos and how to sell my stuff, etc., etc. And uh, what's funny, the only other funny thing I can think of from my very first play session with EverQuest was that uh, I got this retarded drop. It was like a ring. Maybe, actually, maybe it wasn't even a drop. Maybe I bought it from, from a vendor, uh, you know, where somebody had sold it because it was complete trash, you know, like no stats, just dumb as crap. And this is like a high-level uh, person who's showing me around. And, you know, I'm like, here, for, for a token of my appreciation... I want to give you this, and I gave her this retarded ring, <laughs> and she didn't take it. She like declined the uh, the trade and was like, "No, nah, I'm good. I've I've got better than <laughs> than that." So that is my EverQuest story, and that is how I started playing my first 3D MMORPG, and you know it's been a wild ride since then. But I thought I would share that. I thought it was a pretty good story. I think about it all the time, but how ridiculous that was and that I went through all that uh, to try to play the game. And I was addicted to that game before I had even played it. And that's how I feel right now about Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. I'm so addicted to that game, and it's not even out. You know, it's completely ridiculous, actually. But I know what I'm getting this time, at least. I know exactly what kind of game it is. Uh, but it's going to be full of surprises at the same time full of plenty of surprises so guys i hope you enjoyed this today if you'd like to hear more mmo stories mainly from now on it'll probably be in-game things that happen and, and much that's kind of my wildest craziest story of 
trying to play an MMO, uh, then let me know. If you want to hear some more things like this, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy. I have plenty over my years of playing MMOs. Crazy things have happened. Some really wild stories. And I'd be happy to share them with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for checking it out. Until next time, God bless and happy gaming. But please just subscribe. I can't even describe Being part of my tribe I'll even offer you a prize But just please just subscribe And hit the bell notification too